a struggle I'm familiar with, the biggest struggle of my life. It was haunting and it was beautiful. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is kind of weird because this is a, a video that's kind of a joint video between my two um, personal channels, between Spartacus Gaming and between Rerolling. So if you don't know um, one of the other, um, Spartacus Gaming is basically my gaming channel and Rerolling is kind of a, a, a vlog that deals with my um, mental, physical, um, financial health, things like that. So kind of the the trials, tribulations, and 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 things like um, I, I say things like that a lot, don't I? God, I bet people that watch my other videos are just like, oh my god, he finally realized it. The reason that I'm making this video is because there's going to be an overlap here, and that is because I just finished playing this game, uh, Gris, Greece, Gris. It's supposed to be Hispanic for gray. So if you watched me do the uh, the playthrough, um, the let's play of, of that game, you'll know at the very end, I had a very, very strong reaction to the end of the game. For those of you that don't know, I have dealt with anxiety and depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. It starts out with this personal earth shattering experience for this particular unnamed character and it launches them into this world of just gray to begin with and and the premise of the game is you were working through these these levels these puzzles you have no voice and then that voice might have been the one thing that you felt gave you identity and now it's gone and you're moving through this desolate sad world seeing pieces of of what you loved but destroyed but as you go and and complete these these levels and and you're kind of gathering these little stars and getting to certain locations with these stars and it's causing you know basically little chain reactions here and there and creating this larger constellation in in the sky throughout the game but the the big significance is as you're moving along this game and, and you're solving these puzzles in this gray place, you're slowly bringing color back into your life. I believe it started with red and then we got green and blue and, and finally yellow before really the spectrum was, was kind of completed there. Throughout it too, you constantly get interrupted by this black, oily inky kind of being that can that can change its shape into different things and can attack you basically it's like trying to keep you from accomplishing uh your goal it's trying to keep you and hold you back from from bringing that color back into your world and to me it it was more of a metaphor for my my depression and my anxiety and my my mental illnesses and, and i related to this game in a way i didn't i did not see this coming a, a feeling powerless and feeling like you're living in this world of just black and white just grayscale there's there's nothing there's no there's nothing beautiful to find in it and and you look around and you find pieces of things that remind you of of something that was or could have been happy that was just very powerful and, and that you're you're slowly and it takes time and you work hard you're solving all these complicated puzzles and tasks to bring these pieces of color back into your world. And and by God, that is the, the biggest metaphor I can think of for overcoming anxiety and depression. You have to work hard and it is depressing and it takes time. One of the big things I pointed out in the playthrough was that once you got the color blue, you ended up um, kind of in this underground, underwater-ish, in these caverns kind of level. So it's interesting me to me the correlation between the color blue that we usually associate with um, sadness. And you were physically in the lowest part of the game. As soon as you accomplished the, the end of blue, which was going to move you into the next color, which was yellow you get the the biggest attack yet from this black blobby thing it kind of 
darkens everything. So you're really lost for a while, and and but having gotten yellow, it, it, what's interesting too, it's it's just not right away. It's just barely gives you enough light to keep going, to keep finding your way through this labyrinth, and, and that was really like hope to me. And, and once you get out of that darkness, once you get out of the, the caverns, then you ascended into the sky. The backgrounds and the and the colors and, and everything there was so serene, so beautiful. It was, I, I said in there, this this is my heaven. That's that's where I want to be. And finally, when all is said and done, she gets her voice back and, and she's walking around and you you can sing and it's bringing things to life. It's making um, flowers appear where flowers weren't before and that's helping you too um, to, come, to kind of complete the things that you, that you need to complete to finish the game. It culminates with the very beginning of the game, girls sitting in the palm of this giant woman statue, this beautiful statue, and she's right here. At the beginning of the game, when the, when I said the world crumbles apart, the statue is destroyed, it falls apart, and you see pieces of it throughout the game. She gets her voice together, she's singing, and eventually the, it's like the statue is starting to form again, and the statue opens its eyes. I've done it, I have, I have, I have gotten through this darkness, I've gotten out of this, this depression, but then the darkness comes back again and destroys it all. All the colors are gone, just sucked into it. It physically eats you. You wake up again in a, in a world of gray and you find a, uh, a stone sarcophagus that is carved like the woman that was the statue which represented, as, as much as I can think, as, as something you love, or maybe it represents, you know, that thing that you want, that, that you want to achieve. This is me healthy. This is me happy. And what was interesting, too, is the last time that that blackness, that darkness attacked for a, just a, a moment, it formed a face, and that face looked like the face of our character. So it's almost like something about you destroying yourself. And, and it was such a good metaphor for, for relapsing into depression because you, you could get to a point and you think that you are golden. I've kicked depression's ass. I'm good to go. And then you you suddenly just feel like the, the rug's been swept out from under you for whatever reason or sometimes for no reason at all, which happens to me, um, which I, I've gone through lately. The pieces of this statue were kind of was floating in the air and you're kind of jumping and you're ascending and you finally get into the the piece that's left of the palm of that hand and you get in there and all you can do is sing all you can do is use your voice and you're and and you're doing it and suddenly the statue's coming back together again it's starting to come back together but then the the darkness is coming for you at the same time you just keep singing and the darkness is completely enveloping you and right as it completely covers the very last of you, the statue is reformed and it opens its eyes and it sings back. And, and that is what drove the darkness away. You were able to leave the palm of this hand and the constellation that you had been helping to form throughout this game as you collected the colors is, is present and you can walk on the, the lines that, that make up this constellation and you're ascending and you're ascending and ascending and ascending into just pure light. And that's the end of the game. I was choked up, I was in tears, you can I'm sure hear it in my voice and, and there's a, a long period where I couldn't, s oh it's getting me now. There's a long period where I couldn't say anything at all. It's because it hit me because I'm like, this is a representation that you can see, you can hear, that really represents a struggle I'm familiar with, the biggest struggle of my life. It was haunting and it was beautiful. It was the most moved I have ever been by a video game. It was kind of overwhelming towards the end. It was a little overwhelming, but in a good way, in a very real emotional way that brought hope and happiness and joy and also recognition, like, like 
the people that that developed this game and I know other people that play this game they recognize those feelings that you would get. I, I am sure that people that have been in my situation, if you've been through depression and stuff like that, if you've played this game, I think you probably have recognized the the metaphors also. And I'm sure that you've had some similar reactions as I did. I've never experienced anything like it. And, and I don't know if I will ever again, but it was an experience that I will never forget. Because now I can tell people, if you want to know what it's like going through depression and, and trying to pull yourself out of it, go play that game. Because that is what it's like. This game had a happy ending. Um, you got to finally ascend into the light. Depression is always like this, and, and, and some people don't get that happy ending. And, and that's why it's so important to uh, to advocate and, and, and be help you have to be help you have to be a resource for the people that you know that struggle thank you guys for watching this video it means so much to me and you all mean so much to me even if you don't subscribe to either of my channels if you just watch this video you just gave me the time of day you mean something to me you are important and i thank you for that all right guys i'll see you next time and for everyone out there, just keep fighting.